Hi, old folks. This is Max from uh, RootGalaxyNote.com, and I've um, got another ROM review. I have great news for those of you who've been asking me for Jelly Bean, Jelly Bean. It's uh, finally here, a stable version uh, that you can flash with everything pretty much working. Um, let me give you a tour, and uh, this is the Jelly Bean. Um, this is the build by XTA user Menel Scout for Life. Don't forget to subscribe to. Um, actually, sorry, <laughs> don't subscribe. Um, don't forget to donate to him if you like this ROM. Very solid performer. Let's go look at the camera first. Um, you do get a camera working just fine. Take a bunch of photos. Um, the only thing I've noticed is that when you try to do a touch to focus, it'll go to the gallery, uh, which isn't too much of a big deal. Um, your camera works just fine. And also camcorder works flawless, flawless. Um, and you can also get up to 1080p just fine. And very, very solid performer in the camera arena, um, which is great news. And uh, also I've tested Bluetooth and Netflix works just fine and Hulu and stuff like that. So that's awesome. Um, I know that was a great deal breaker for most of you and myself, including myself. But everything works really flawless. Um, again, this is still gonna be um, beta beta because it's based off nightly CM10 Sinogen Mod 10. Um, but it does give you Jelly Bean, and uh, from my testing, it looks very very solid. And of course, I wasn't able to test the actual calls, but it should be fine. The last version I've tested of this ROM, it was just fine. And also, you should be able to get 4G LTE just fine. If you have any trouble. You can go to system settings, go to more, mobile networks, and you can toggle to GSM and then go back to LTE GSM. Um, and that should give you 4G LTE. But um, my SIM card slot is broke. Uh, what happened was I was using one of those cheap um, micro SIM adapters and I actually built mine to avoid that and I have a video on it you can actually see that be very careful when you use the cheap adapters the ones that you know that uh, um, your sim card just goes through and uh, it falls apart and when you try to force out the sim card adapter by itself you'll lose one of those pins and then your phone will not work um, so I've, it's not a big deal you can just get uh, order these on eBay for like three bucks and solder it back on that's what I'm gonna do I'll have a video on it um, also another great way somebody suggested on Google Plus was that you can actually call AT&T uh, the customer service and tell them it's not working don't tell them it's broke and then they'll send you a new phone <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that so I can make a video of it and plus I've already kind of stripped it out um, but be, right, be aware of that for Galaxy Note i717 users it doesn't happen on the GTN 7000 by the way it's just the way this sim, sim slot is built. It, um, it's not good with those uh, cheap plastic ones. So make your own. Get a stamp. Make your own one of these. And also you can personalize it. You know, it looks so cool. Um, and uh, let's go back to the ROM here. Google Now is working just fine. San Francisco Giants score. Weather San Francisco. It's 18 degrees and clearer in San Francisco. Um, I want to try. How many miles from San Francisco to Bangkok? Okay. So it works just fine. Um, you're going to love it. And uh, very, very smooth. And uh, performance, if you now, I don't even recommend up um, overclocking this, but if you feel like it, you can go all the way to 1.836 gigahertz. Uh, of course, that's not going to give you great battery life, uh, but I, you know, you can set it on 1.7 to 8 if you want. And look at all the governors you got. I'm um, on demand. I recommend for best battery life and also interactive if you're playing like games and stuff. And uh, also, you know, you, if for those of you who don't know, you can go to About Phone, go to Android 4.1 and find the Jelly Beans here and hold down the Jelly Bean and you can play the Jelly Bean game. Um, but I really like this, the latest version, the version I'm running is um, 4.1.1. 1 
the version you'll see under CM Cyanogen mod version um, 2012 August 27th so this is great and by the time you see this video you might see a new version um, go ahead and use that and also you might need to use twerp up to install this ROM I'm not sure I haven't tried with Clockwork My Recovery but I'll have links to uh, twerp if you need it uh, if you have hard time traveling with Clockwork My Recovery um, and uh, great ROM everything just working flawless Whoop, what happened there you know just my oily nose, nose air nose oil always gets in the way and uh, it can be a very good daily driver again even though you know I, I tested everything there's something that can always go wrong and if it does just make sure you make a backup ROM before you install this and also um, you know you can always go back and uh, you know that's the point of making a backup if you don't make a backup and you get stuck with a bug um, then you get stuck with a bug but um, if you make a backup ROM then you can always restore so go ahead and try it out let me know what you think but it, it's very very solid I really like it um, you get all the features CM10 jelly beans uh, of course your S Pen is not gonna work for S Memo for touch sensitivity but it will still work just fine um, for you know using as a pen or using apps that don't require touch sensitivity so um, not for everybody but for those of you uh, flashaholics who need to have jelly beans um, but definitely recommend it now and uh, another another five stars and thousand likes for XDA user Manel Scout for life don't forget to donate to him again and uh, let me know what you think of this ROM and uh, you can, oh, and uh, have a great day my my Galaxy Note this one especially is falling apart because I've flashed so many ROMs I took the back cover out back cover in is broke and my SIM card is broke but I'll get it all fixed um, it's all fixable not that much costs so anyway see y'all later and if you have a Galaxy Note don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, rootgalaxynote.com we update you once a week sometimes once a month um, with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more, and also it's a great way for you to get in contact with me or others if you have trouble with your phone. And uh, if you're on YouTube, you're on my new channel, um, Root Galaxy Note. Uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to my new Root Galaxy Note channel here at uh, YouTube, so you can get updates just for your notes. You know, all the Galaxy Notes. And uh, thanks you guys for supporting my channel, my videos, and have a great. Memorial, you know, Labor Day weekend. Yeah, see y'all later. Oh, yeah.